Before carrying out any maintenance to your machine, please ensure that it is turned off at the switch, the spark plug is disconnected, and you're wearing appropriate safety equipment. Hello, today we're going to do a hydraulic control piston change on a seven ton electric log splitter from Titan Pro. So the first task is to get a 16 mil socket to remove this bolt, which holds the lever handle on and secures the piston in place. Before carrying out this next step, it's advisable to put a drip tray under the machine to catch any oil that may leak out. So this is the inner piston here. Remove this, there might be some oil coming out as well. So the next thing to do is loosen off this grub screw with a 2.5mm Allen key, just so it sits under the thread in the hole. Now, over the other side of the machine, locate this bolt, undo it with a 21mm socket, and it'll give you access to the other side of the piston. Just on the back of this bolt is a spring. Make sure you don't lose it. So to remove the outer piston from a threaded end, take a long punch and a hammer and gently tap the outer piston through. So you see it's coming out the other side. To start installing the new piston, put the um, return spring and the threaded bolt back in first with the 21mm socket. And do it up tight. To install the new outer piston, first lubricate the O-rings to make sure they slide in smoothly. Get the little cut out at the top, hold it in place, and tap it in with a hammer. After installing the outer piston, the next thing to do is do up the grub screw, doing it up tight, but not too tight, to round off the head. So after tightening the grub screw, put in the inner piston, as far as you can by hand, but you may need to give it a slight tap with a hammer just to seat it correctly. And when it's in there, it should just start springing back by hand. Now the final task before starting the machine is going to be reinstalling the handle. Make sure you slide it over the front of the piston and do up the 16mm nut. This can be done up quite tightly but still let the handle move. Now before starting the machine, you may want to recheck the oil level. Purchase any spares for our Titan Pro Garden Machinery, please follow the link below.